All right, so in this video, I'm going to be talking about the Canelo and Khan fight. It's a good fight for Canelo, not so great for Khan, okay? Even though Khan does have speed, he thinks he's going to possibly do what Mayweather did. Two totally different types of speed, all right? Uh, Khan can have a little more power than Mayweather, but as far as speed, far none, bar none. Mayweather is top notch as opposed to uh, Khan. Well, Canelo is too big as far as uh, the day of the fight. He's going to be too big for Khan. Khan thinks he's going to run around a lot. Well, that's not going to work for him, okay? For one, Canelo is smart enough to cut the ring enough to put pressure enough on Khan, okay? So he's not going to be able to run as much. And Khan doesn't mind staying in the pocket or staying in the fight, staying in the phone booth every now and then, obviously. With, with Canelo, he won't be able to do that. He's not going to want to do that. All right? The power shots that Canelo has is going to hurt Khan a lot. So, with all that movement around, Khan will get tired enough to stick in the pocket long enough. Because remember, he likes to throw that one, two, like really fast, right? And, and they always come right here in this angle, just about here. That's it. Maybe once in a while, he throws that left, long left hook, which is not going to do anything to Canelo. Okay? So with him sticking, doing that one, two, and staying in there for a split second, and you've seen it in the training, yes, you will fight as you train. And he's done that very, that's why he gets rocked so much, because he stays in the pocket for a millisecond too long, either to admire his work or to see what's going on after he did that beautiful one, two, that he does connect very well, very accurately from different angles, but it's always coming down right here, which is very, very predictable. Okay, he stays there a little too long. That's going to be too long for um, Canelo. As you've seen in the fights, I mean in the training, okay, uh, in Khan's corner, right, the camp that they're in, they talk a little, a, a, a lot, which is fine, but this is what happens. Muscle memory. There is such thing as muscle memory. Khan, boom, boom, and then uh, 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 the trainer starts to, um, starts talking, and what does Khan do? Boom, boom, and then to listen to pay attention okay that's my muscle memory boom, boom. and he's gonna sit there too long for one second too long and he's gonna get he's gonna get hurt Khan is gonna get hurt very bad in this fight okay it's not gonna go past the 10th round if it does it's still it's still Khan won't win it on points he just won't be able to go in and out enough he just won't every time he'll come in he'll get countered countered good enough at least one out of five of those counters a 10th is gonna hurt Khan, and that's throughout the fight. One out of five every day. I mean, this is is gonna hurt Khan. Trust me. There is a possibility that Khan can hurt uh, Canelo, but knock him out, win the fight. No, it's not gonna happen. Okay, um, it's not gonna be an easy fight for Canelo. I will tell you that much. Nowhere near. It's not gonna be an easy fight for Canelo. Hell no. Uh, Khan has a lot to lose. Okay, a lot to prove. Okay. Um, so Khan will, will, will fight smart enough, but he just won't be able to take that power from Canelo. Too much power coming from different angles, okay? Khan is too predictable, always coming from this angle, right? All, when Khan throws that 1-2, that, uh, as soon as he throws that jab, that 1, all Canelo needs to do is just step, believe it or not, step. And you know Canelo does that. He squares off sometimes, almost in that uh, um, Tyson type of square off. Where he comes over and he, boom, he goes this way and he comes this way as well sometimes, okay? So what all Canelo needs to do is wait for that one, two, and just step over. That's it. It's going to come over here. The one, two is gonna, still going to come this way. Why? Because Canelo's not going to stay here. It's just a step over and then uppercut this way. See my guard here? Nothing can hit this way. When something comes here, you might hit him here. But that's it. But that uppercut is going to land square in the jaw. It's gonna go sideways, it's gonna knock him down. It might not knock him out. Well, it will knock him out, right? Canelo has that much power, that much accuracy, that much, uh, uh, that much bravery to get in there at the right timing and actually hit with accuracy. That's the best way I can put it. Okay, so remember, there's gonna be an uppercut that's what's gonna hurt him or actually knock Khan out. Okay, uh, for uh, Khan with Canelo, okay, Con uh, Canelo 
can get stunned, maybe even dropped, okay, or at least hit the canvas uh, with his hand or his knee, make him buckle and have a standing eight count, okay, if, which is possible with that one two, but it's too predictable, it's too predictable, it comes from one, one angle and that's it, it's one, uh, one dimensional, Khan is, he really is, okay, yes, he controls the distance pretty decently well, okay, moves in and out, as far as punching, attack wise, one dimensional, it all comes here, one dimension, that's it, every once in a while, it may come from here, meaning that left hook, okay, but remember, it's a long one, okay, because he he's doesn't like to get hit like no one else does, okay, and Canelo doesn't mind getting hit, he doesn't mind taking that risk, okay, to get that one good shot in there, and keep going with those uppercuts, okay, or with the body shots or whatnot, or with the combinations that he throws, that he throws from all kinds of different angles, all right, and the other thing is, that nothing is going to finish off uh, Khan is, when one thing Canelo can do after he steps over this way, does that uppercut, he can come over, boom, and hit him, just like, uh, um, D uh, oh man, what's his name, I can't believe I forgot, Garcia, sorry, <laughs> just like Garcia, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. I can't believe I forgot his name right now. Anyways, yeah, just like Garcia knocked him out. All right, he did that one. He, you know, he, they were doing pretty good, both of them coming in at each other. But you know, Garcia has a lot more power. Uh, but anyway, he came in and then he came over with that crazy left hook, up down combination. Because uh, Khan is good right here. That's it. But what about here? This angle coming down. These angles coming down. Okay, these angles coming from the top. Okay. That's the, uh, Khan is not good at defending those angles and Canelo is really good at sneaking in those shots from all kinds of angles. So, I give this fight to Canelo, knockout, if not by points, I don't, I don't really see it going 12 rounds, okay, it's going to go 10 rounds, the most. Uh, some people have predicted even way before, uh, not to take anything away from them, man, it's very, very possible. Khan is going to get hurt from the fourth round up, he's going to get hurt pretty bad. So uh, it's not going to go past the 10th round. Uh, my name is Jesus Asai Medina, the creator of the Temple Builders Guide and the Speakeasy Chronicles, converting boys to men and to gentlemen, helping them ascend, okay? And also Around the Bell, coming at you soon. All right, this is a little bit of a, a initiation to it, okay? Around the Bell, baby.